our year two. Are you ready for some spellings this week? Before we begin, you know the drill. You need a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, and if you've still got those home learning books, go and grab them. Pause the video and come back shortly. Let's have a look and see who this week's winners are. As you can see, we need to say well done to 2SH, but look at how close the scores are between third and fourth place for 2W and 2CH. Now, year two, there are not many weeks to go until we break up for the summer term. Who is going to finish and be the champions for the whole year? And I want to give a very special shout out to the top three spellers in each of the year two classes. Now, some of these names I've spotted before in previous weeks. So well done. But do you know what? I'm really proud year two because I can see some names on here that I haven't seen in previous weeks. Can you spot yours? If not, will you be here next week? Let's start with our first challenge. What can you see? Write down what these images are. And when you've written them down, year two, can you spot a spelling rule that is the same for each of those spellings? Did you identify all of the images? Did you find these words? And did you manage to spell them correctly? Let's look closely. What do they all have in common? Well done, Year 2. Fantastic spotting. They all end in EY. But what sound do they make? Let's say it together. E. This digraph makes the long E sound. Our focus this week is to look at the E sound spelled with EY. So I might feel confident that I've spotted the E sound at the end and now I've got my digraph. But I think I'm going to do a little bit of checking and put my other sound buttons in to make sure that I know the sounds that I can hear in these words. So let's have a look at this one. This is monkey. M -a -n -k -e. Okay, let me try my next one. Z -a -n -k -e. Donkey. I'm going to try my third one. J -a Ooh. Now let's have a look here. I can see that I've got another digraph. This one here makes the k sound. I'm going to check that one again. J -a -k -e. Jockey. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And I know which animal I've got here. Turkey. T uh ah can you hear it you two? I've got my uh so I've got another digraph k e I'm gonna check that one again t uh k e turkey now it's your turn year two can you read the word I'll point to the sound buttons to help you M-A-N-K-E Monkey D-A-N-K-E Donkey J a k e jockey t a k e turkey the next challenge year two is for you to have a go at identifying the sound buttons for some of the other images that we had at the beginning of today's lesson. So I'm going to zoom in in a minute for you and you will see that I've been very kind and I've given you some of the sound buttons to help you. Let's have a closer look. 
Here is the image again, year two. And the word is trolley. Trolley. Can you have a go at spelling it for me? Well done. Let's check together. T -r -o -o -e. Trolley. I think I need to challenge you a little bit more, year two. So I'm not going to give you the sound buttons this time. I'm not even going to give you the dashes to work out how many letters. Can you remember what we are pointing to in this picture? And the word is chimney. Chimney. Check. How did you get on year two? Did you spot that digraph at the start? Ch -i -m -n -i. Chimney. You've done so well with the challenges in the investigation year two. So now I want you to pause the video and see if you can find some other words that follow our rule for today. Now remember that digraph, that E sound appears at the end of the words. So go and see what objects you've got around your home, maybe when you're out on a walk and even have a look in the book that you're reading. What new exciting words can you find? How are you guys getting on? Because I am really, really proud of myself here too. I have discovered some new exciting words. What's this tasty herb? Parsley. How about this physical feature? Valley. Do you recognise this famous fictional character? Mr Nosy. If I follow the map, it might be a shorter... Journey. I always eat this with my poppadoms or even a slice of cheese. Chutney. Some people say this makes the world go round. Money. Now, because these are new exciting words for me, year two, I think it's really good practice for me to use my different methods from our no-nonsense spelling. So I've had a go at using my rainbow writing and I've had a go at drawing the boxes around my sound. I've even drawn some pictures to help me as a reminder. So now it's your turn, year two. Think about the new exciting words that you found and think about one of your favourite ways that you're using to help you learn your spellings. I wonder if it will be a new one. Or have you got certain methods, a bit like me, that you really prefer using? Which chilli are you going to choose this week, year two? Perhaps chilli one. Find some new exciting words and think about how you can record them in a way that is familiar to you. For Chili 2, try the game of blankety blank. Remember I taught you this in our last spelling session. Use your new exciting words and create some silly sentences. Using those spellings, those need to be the missing words. And finally, for Chili 3, can you write a poem or story, perhaps even perform this, using as many of your new exciting words as possible? And don't forget to include that punctuation. And if you're really going for detail by including those adjectives, remember to use that comma to show your expanded noun phrases. Good luck. As ever, year two, keep sending us your work. Send us all of those things that you're really, really proud of. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of your new, exciting word collections. And if you are feeling really, really brave and you'd love to film yourself sharing your silly poem or story with as many of those new, exciting words in, then drop it to our email address 
and with permission, you never know, you might feature on next week's year two YouTube channel playlist. Bit of a mouthful to say. So good luck, keep safe and see you soon.